Well, it was a historic handshake seen around the world this week. The leaders from North and South Korea agreeing to end their decades-long war. President Trump touting the summit as encouraging for the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. But is it the president's tough talk that led to a possible peace agreement? General Anthony Tata is the former deputy commanding general of U.S. forces in Afghanistan and author of the new book, Reaper Ghost Target. He joins us now. General, thanks for being here this morning. So you see those powerful imagery. You want to see diplomacy work. But in order for diplomacy to work, there's a lot of things that happen behind the scene. Uh, unpack why a moment like that happened and who, who deserves the credit for it. Well, uh, you know, the uh, team, it's good to be with you this morning. And this is the 12th administration uh, since the end of the Korean War. And for the first time, we have a president and an administration that understands how to synchronize the elements of national power to apply, as President Trump calls it, a maximum pressure. And so you've had diplomatic pressure, informational pressure, all these tweets, everybody kind of laughed off. Well, that, that you know, got under Kim Jong-un's skin. And then mm -hmm. you've got military pressure where you have three carrier strike groups in the Sea of Japan and, and, and the, you know, an Air Force uh, of, of bombers on Guam and 28,000 uh, ground forces on the Korean Peninsula. You know, that's a very credible threat behind the diplomacy, behind the information campaign, and then the economic sanctions. And so the synchronization of those four pieces have applied significant pressure to Kim Jong-un. And when you look at what we did in Syria and how we have defeated ISIS, mm -hmm. what you've got is a president who has said what he's going to do, and he does what he, what he says. And so Kim, that, that it is not lost on Kim Jong-un that uh, the, the president unleashed the military to crush ISIS, that he responded very forcefully twice against Syria. And he says, mm -hmm. hey, by this spring, if we don't have a deal, then, uh, you know, something's going to go down. And so that, that's where I think we we have a president that is really doing I mean, what he says. These images that we were just showing our audience, they are pretty incredible. You think about the first time since 1953 that right. a member of the Kim dynasty stepped foot on South Korean soil. What I'm questioning, though, uh, General, you, you look at Kim Jong-un there. He's smiling. He seems happy. He seems really uh, motivated to make a change here. What happened in the last six months, and what is in it for North Korea? Because it was just a few months ago that he seemed so angry with the West. Up, shooting off ballistic missiles. It was like every morning we were reporting on another one. So why does he seem so happy in this moment? Abby, that's a great insight. And I think what's happening here is uh, Kim Jong-un's grandfather had a vision when he came to power of self-reliance. And so he focused on self-reliance for North Korea. And then Kim Jong-un's father, Kim Jong-il, had a vision of a powerful military. So he built this massive military with artillery uh, as a foundation foundational piece of it. When Kim Jong-un came in, he said, I have two visions. One is for a nuclear power and one is for a strong economy. Mm -hmm. And perhaps Kim Jong-un is mm -hmm. playing off the uh, nuclear uh, mm -hmm. piece so that he can have a stronger economy. And, and what we see now is, you know, and perhaps, you know, you see the left, you know, success has a thousand fathers and failures an orphan, right? And so you see the left uh, giving credit to uh, yeah. Kim Jong Un's sister. You know, maybe she went to the Olympics <laughs> right. and went up there and went back to Pyongyang right. and yeah. said, "Hey, hey, there. You know, it, it's pretty so, nice down there. They have food." And and so you right. know, for, and so for that matter, um, you, what you've got is uh, there are a lot of factors that are impacting Kim Jong Un. General, general, the devil's in the details. We'll see what we get. Thank you very much for joining us.